Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum and a very good evening to everybody who are online now, live via our platform on Arts USM Facebook. All right, tonight uh, we meet again in our industry community advisory panel, or also known as ICAP, CAP, whereby our panel for tonight is the representative from the Drama and Theatre Department of School of the Arts, University Science Malaysia, Mr. Hamza Muhammad Tahir. And for your information, the title for this session tonight is Malaysian Theatre, the Art of Networking in the Digital Age. Okay, before um, we move on and um, with our interview session with uh, Mr. Hamza Muhammad Tahir, Allow me to uh, explain briefly about uh, ICAP or ICAP. I, I, ICAP is one of our initiatives or our efforts to include an external panel from the industry to share with us, to help us, to inform us, and also to advise us on various aspects, such as our academic programs, uh, curriculum, teaching methodologies, supervision, and most importantly, the current issues on what is going on in our industry and what we should consider to strengthen our academic program in our university, our in university in University of Science Malaysia. So allow me to also to share the structure of this interview session for tonight. All right, I will start with a brief introduction about our ICAP panel tonight, then followed by a Q&A session between myself, um, my name is Dr. Hadi, and Mr. Hamza Tahe. So during the, uh, our interview session, if you have any questions or suggestions or any comments, please keep the questions later uh, at the end of this interview session, whereby we will open a Q&A session between our viewers and our panel. Or if you shy, you can always type here at the bottom right of your screen and we will try our best to post your questions to our dearest panel for tonight. So uh, ladies and gentlemen, let me welcome you, our viewers. Let's meet our panel, I kept for tonight for the drama and theater department, Mr. Hamza Muhammad Tahir. Assalamualaikum, Mr. Hamza. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. Selamat petang semuanya. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Thank you for, uh, thank you so much, uh, Professor Majah Dr. Hadi, uh, inviting me untuk bersama-sama untuk sesi bual-bual mesra ini. <laughs> thank you so much for, you know, for being here. And to and also to be our ICAP panel industry, uh, we are actually very grateful to have you here tonight. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, um, uh, let's uh, let's start with kickstart before the Q and A start. Let me actually give some introduction, a little bit uh, a short biography. It's going to be uh, I promise it's going to be short, or I don't know whether it's going to be short or not. But uh, uh, let's uh, listen a little bit about that's uh, about uh, Hamza Muhammad Tahir, all right? So maybe our viewers really want to know who is Hamza Muhammad Tahir. Uh, some, I think most of us actually know who is actually Hamza Muhammad Tahir. Anyway, <laughs> right. Uh, allow me to read about his uh, 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 short biography. Hamza Muhammad Tahir, um, born in Mua, Johor in 1967. Hamza graduated from University of Science Malaysia from, from, you know, from our school. Uh, he's actually my senior, <laughs> two years my senior, with, with a Bachelor of Arts in Performing Arts, basically. And, and later, he went on to pursue his Master of Arts in Scenography at Central St. Martins University of the Arts, London University, uh, sorry, uh, Central St. Martins University of the Arts, London, UK. He is active in the local performing arts, and has worked as a director, actor, and dancer with several local theatre productions. 
he has also represented Malaysia to China International Children Festival 1994, 5th Cairo International Festival for Experimental Theatre in 1993, and Warmat Rivermat Reading Youth Festival UK in 1999. While in England, uh, he had the opportunity to be involved with several theatre productions such as Macbeth, at the Tricycle Theatre, Sinofest 96, Cochrane Theatre in London. And this one is actually quite familiar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, out of uh, London International Theatre Festival, Henry IV, Part 1 and 2, with English Touring Theatre, directed by Stephen Irwin. As a director, he directed a play called Jati, Petaka, Cinta Sakura, Pertemuan, Ayam Jantan, Ayam Betina, Ugh, I don't know whether it's better, it's correct. Ugh, 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 Pintu, and many others, including Zafri Hussein's. Angin Mengambang Monolog. Mr. Hamza is also a scenographer for the following renowned productions uh, in Istana Budaya and also in several places in, Malay in, in, in Kuala Lumpur, such as Tengku Anum, Lantai Tipinki, Ibu Zain, directed by Rosmina Tahir. Um, actually, his uh, sister <laughs> Uda Dandara, directed by Rahim Razali, Medea, directed by Norzizi Zukifli, who is also uh, a lecturer in ITM Shah Alam. Um, on, um, and, and also, in you. <clears throat> he successfully won Best Set Design in 2013 and 2015 at Bo Cameronian Arts Awards. So in, 20, in 2020, he won Best Group Performance for Oedipus. I think, I think it's, it's okay, Mr. Hamza? Yeah, yeah, chukur, chukur. <laughs> for your For your biography at the moment. So, all right. <clears throat> we are actually very honored to, uh, to have you here. And we are going to, to start uh, our, uh, we're going to kickstart our conversation for today. So um, the title of our uh, session today is Malaysian Theatre, the Art of Networking in the Digital Age. All right. Uh, <clears throat> okay. Uh, before we go into the topic for tonight, which is uh, Malaysian Theatre, the Art of Networking in the Digital Age, maybe could you... Uh, you know, elaborate on the scenario of Malaysian theatre before the advent of the digital age era. You know, before you know the the you know the age of digital era. Maybe you can actually share with us before we go into the digital age. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Hadi. Thank you for the introduction. Um, Dr. Hadi, kita tahu tu sebab he is with me along the way. Uh, to the uh, uh, all the uh, from Malaysia to UK, uh, we are together, and I'm very pleased to be here to be back actually to USM to discuss and to share the experience uh, to everyone here. Uh, okay, back to the question. The first question: How uh, before we go into the digital age? Um, I was graduated uh, from USM's 1992. I, I just uh, can uh, share with you my experience throughout because uh, sampai sekarang ni nearly 30 years that uh, kan from 1992 grad so maknanya dah berabad-abad jugalah uh, <laughs> I was in the industry and for the academic world also. So after I graduated, I'm interested uh, we talk about the networking. So as a student at that time, uh, for me, networking as a performing arts artist or uh, graduated from uh, performing arts 
school. So we have to sell ourselves. So I went to KL as a center of Wami Arts to um, to know all the people that involved in theater production, especially uh, to get to know to know them. Uh, that is uh, how I uh, do my networking at that time, which is um, that time is face to face. You have to uh, meet them, greet them, and get involved with them. Yeah, and at that time is actually uh, uh, our theater uh, is very, I think, macam um, meriah uh, juga. Yeah, because uh, at that time in 1992, there's a lot of uh, not a lot, but there's a few theater, uh, especially in Matic, yaitu apa, the Malaysian Tourist uh, Center at Jalan Rampang. That's the only place and British Council uh, uh, adakan performance. Yeah, There's two categories of, not two categories lah. What, uh, uh, there's a Malay theater and they have an English theater at that at, at that time. So I want... At that time, at that time there was, um, Istanbul Budaya has not been built, yeah? Not yet, not yet. Therefore, uh, uh, therefore, uh, uh, even in T uh, experimental theater at KBN also uh, belum ada lagi, yeah, belum ada lagi at 1992. So the place that really uh, put up a show is actually down by uh, DBKL uh, Auditorium Besar tu, DBKL uh, Matic and British Council. British Council is small space, but they are so active, yeah. So uh, that's uh, masa tu lah. I berkenalan dengan Christian Jit, um, uh, uh, Rani Yusof, uh, kan semuanya tu. Then, um, I'm so happy that I can involve with them. So, at that time, the networking to know to know all the people that I've learned in the book, in the Malaysian theater, so I meet them face to face, kan. Uh, uh, first, 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 I graduated, uh, I get involved with... Uh, Arwani Yusof in Sida Petapuk Pina Menari, which is the play written by the, uh, Dato' Nudin Hassan. So I met Dato' Nudin Hassan, I met Rani Yusof and all the ensemble over there at Matic. Uh, so uh, that's the starting point uh, when I'm in KL. But before that, during a school time, uh, uh, I mean school time in USM, um, Saya dapat peluang untuk travel uh, dibawa oleh Profesor Datuk uh, Dr. Gauss Nasruddin with the team from Pusat Seni. We travel all over the Asia. Asian, Asian, Asian. Asian. <laughs> yeah. uh, we managed to go to Singapore, to uh, Brunei Darussalam, to Sabah, Sarawak. And, and that is kind of networking as well. Whereas when you graduated, when you contact back, they know, we know each other. You know, that, might, that kind of thing. The kind of thing. So in 1992, in 1992, okay, there's the Matic and British <laughs> Council. So I go for the, uh, go for the, um, and 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 the 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 works we can see from both uh, uh, both uh, inst not institution, both both side English and Malay theatre, and of course that time uh, Chinese uh, Indian theatre is uh, not really uh, really boom at that time. So. Uh, that is around 92, 93, 94, 5, like that, 5 years after that. Then I get involved with all the theatre. And then at the same time, I'm involved also in a TV production. So that we put aside. But that is networking. Because I'm involved in theatre production with the English and Malay theatre at that time. We know each other. Then I got I got a, I got an audition. They're giving an audition in RTM. So I be the compare, the host for Selamat Pagi Malaysia. So, mm. that, you know, that kind of networking is going uh, name. But you need your uh, portfolio, you need your CV, and you need your face-to-face uh, -face interaction and your communication skill at that time. Yeah, it's well, very, what, very important. Well, what I'm actually interested in, basically, at that time, you really need to actually sell, sell yourself. You really need to so-called tebal muka yourself and meet them in, per, in person, right? Yes, yes, definitely, definitely. Actually, at, uh, this kind of communication skill uh, should be until now because it's a very uh, strong element that as a performing art artist, you actor, you must do because this, that is our tools. That is our instrument. We're not playing music. We're not uh, uh, upper, 
uh, the skill yang lain because our tools is our our body, our voice and our interaction and communication. Yeah. So face to face, introduce yourself, get involved. Masa tu tak kira bayaran because I I memang bagi uh, two or three years for me just to do the networking. Mm-hmm. As a performing art student, yeah. So, but somehow, yeah, the productions that you actually involve in 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 school, in school of the arts actually have help you to meet meet all these all these uh, theatre practitioners, practitioners, I believe. Yes, indeed, indeed, indeed. Especially when we go touring, uh, uh, because uh, because our 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 professor is a legend. Semuanya legend dekat pusat ini, kan? So. That is, they also like, 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 Uh, like uh, macam budak-budak Penang datang turun KL tapi fame remember my name <laughs> lah, macam tu <laughs> yeah yeah so uh, itu itu that is the that is the spirit that is the spirit that we we, we that, bring that is the way that is the way of how you, you you got your networking and how you get connected to the to the to the local theatre goers and to the local theatre practitioners in KL basically right Yeah, right. At that time, uh, you are uh, you don't believe that when you jumpa Christian Jit, kan? Bila your play, uh, your you act, your acting, uh, jumpa Marion D. Cruz. Uh, sebab Janet Pillay is our lecturer also. So, yes, yes. Uh, that is her networking. So, all this Marion D. Cruz, uh, then Ramli Ibrahim come to see our show. Oh my goodness! Ah, <laughs> macam tu rasanya. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I understand. I understand. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, Mr. Hamza. Uh, okay. I think. I think. I think. Um, uh, you give a roundup how important in, uh, for 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 uh, a student uh, like you know like a fresh student to go out there and 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 just just go and meet them in person and 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 also through your productions. To to be to be known or to be recognized because it's hard for you to just uh, you know just say for our cases here let's say you know you know you are in Penang and 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 you just wait for their for their calls and not that would, would not happen you really have to go there and meet them and 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 interact with them and 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 and, and show to them that uh, you know in regards to your talent so they they can actually believe in you and they would offer you uh you know uh, some parts of uh, or even in, involved in their productions yes. i think that's the yeah. i think that's the scenario before the the the, the advent of the digital age so yes, yeah so um do, do you think that um malaysian in general or, or perhaps those who are in the um in the industry is um is well informed in regards to the importance of the usage of the internet or in the digital age er- uh, era um mr hamza yeah i think uh, i think you think uh, that we are ready for that i mean we you know the transition the transition you know yeah we have to get ready for that because because this uh this uh, situation is going to be not it start now you know it start now actually uh for us uh to understand to uh, to use uh, the, this internet and uh, digital digital instrument why i said that because before this uh, we are we are, uh, just an actor we are we doesn't think about uh, apa ni ticketing marketing uh, what not kan uh, i think uh, dalam 2003 rasanya baru ada orang beli uh, beli tickets through internet hmm as an actor we are uh, we don't care about that kan kita berlakon 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 saja kan so uh, bila actually uh, is growing actually is growing because uh, uh, because everything everything now we can see through youtube a uh, production performance and what not that's why I, i i thought this is the time for us to do the transition that we have to get ready for that we have to know the knowledge of internet the knowledge of digital how to use it uh, 
what are the opportunity uh, uh, when we face about this digital aid? Ada yang mengeluh, ada yang kata uh, apalah, uh, why we why we need uh, this digital? Uh, kerana uh, we human, kan? Kita human, we performing arts especially, kita kena face to face, kita kena benda itu. Itu naluri kita. Tetapi uh, for me, for me, we have to get ready to to face another another era another era but here is the starting point Be- not because of the this pandemic or covid-19 yang membuatkan kita uh, macam uh, keresahan tentang benda ni berlaku tetapi kalau kita tengok peredaran peredarannya daripada nanti tu yang saya cakap tu yang face to face lepas tu i think from 2003 dah mula dah mula uh, internet dan juga um, berjual beli tiket uh, melalui internet then marketing dan apa semua dah ada dah ada is, uh, lepas tu kita go for kita sebelum sebelum berlakunya ini uh, ada Facebook ada Instagram tetapi kita tidak uh, uh, macam bukan alert lah kita macam tak tahu grant kita tak kisah kan uh, kita because, because 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 we also we, we actually also very concerned we also very concerned about the human factor because of uh, human behavior the fact that uh not not all of us actually prone to or prefer to inform about themselves or 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 maybe their plans uh, you know via internet and all that I mean, how how could how could we address that mr hamza because some of them just feel like i don't want to tell uh, everything online now i just want to make it like maybe maybe uh, i would just to keep it to keep it to myself and maybe later on i'll let you know you know you know you know the, the I don't know. You know, it's a human factor thing. How how can we address that? No, I think I think as a human, you tak tak kala you nak nak bagi you don't give everything to other people to the public. The public, you must have a uh, kati uh, uh, apa ni? You have to categorize what to what to show and what not to show, what to share and what not to share. That is, you must have that. But uh, as an artist, as an actor, you must develop. Are we okay? Doctor, I lost your face. Which one, me? Uh, My face? No, no, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> don't lost your face. <laughs> on my screen. So I'm, I'm going to talk to myself. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So, uh, but now we have to do that. Tetapi, we have to choose what what to choose and what to show and what not to show. That That's so easy like that. Uh, to to uh, to expose yourself to the public doesn't mean that you have to show everything. Uh, that is the intellectual uh, part that you have to decide lah. Can why you have to show, especially in the art world, you have to uh, build up your portfolio. Uh, you have to uh, building up your credibility. Uh, what you can do, what you cannot do, um, because I think from uh, Instagram from Facebook, you can develop that. Um, there's there's so many, um, I mean, uh, channel that you can you 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 and platform that you have, which is we don't have at that time. We have to bring yeah. our portfolio, a big bags of portfolio, uh, video <laughs> HS to <laughs> uh, show. You know you know what I mean. So now yes. oh, it's very compact. You just can build up your Insta. Insta, uh, Instagram uh, to, de- to develop your portfolio. And why you have to show everything? No, you have to show your credibility and your expertise, your specialization. And this is the what, the beauty of the uh, social networking and digital age nowadays. Whereas you just can click and you can show. Okay, when you go to audition, when you go to the, you don't have to bring a uh, portfolio, you know, the big one. So you just have to show your social networking. Um, yes, I think uh, it's about time for us to do that because uh, after, 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 uh, kalau katalah tak ada COVID, after kita sembuh dalam uh, tahun depan. But this is carry on, you know. The progress is carry on. And then mm-hmm. the detail is carry on. So I think we have to face that. As a human, we have to open up uh, to to go and swim to the digital age ocean. Lepas itu belakang kira lah kan. But we have to do that and we have to go 
into that. And why? Because of uh, we, uh, contohnya lah, kita ada beberapa fasa COVID-19, kita ada beberapa fasa untuk stay at home, do at home, uh, do uh, work from home. Macam kon- konsep work from home ni pun tak pernah terlintas. Saya tak pernah terlintas work from home. Kan? Uh, whereas, masa kita study dekat UK, work from home ni dah macam biasa. Kan? Beli belah dekat UK, uh, orang datang hantar katalog, eh, dia beli melalui katalog, we are so like kampung, we say that, why? <laughs> <laughs> beli CD kan you remember uh, CD? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. lepas tu beli, beli tape recorder lepas tu pulang balik sebab tak suka dah we can return it back <laughs> okay okay so, um, tu, um, masa tu yeah. orang dah, dah bermula dah that is that is 1997 kan 1997 97. jadi era tu tak sekarang kita dah beli belah melalui internet yeah. uh, uh, kita dah, 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 dah I think much is much easier uh, in terms of nowadays punya environment lah. Uh, so uh, that is the situation that we have to uh, go into the flow and of course after this uh, to pulih kita akan moving forward. Kita bukan katalah after kita dah boleh bekerja dekat ni kita okay internet tak payah tutup internet then kita go back to no kan. I don't think so. Hmm. We go forward. We go forward. We go forward. Yeah. But you're talking about the pandemic of COVID-19. Interestingly, but you know, the pandemic of COVID-19 um, has obviously um, affecting all of us in the in industry. Maybe, um, can you can you share with us the, the impact of this pandemic to the Malaysian theatre scenario now? Okay, okay. Um, okay, that is why I think this is, this is the transition of the new thing, the new, the new environment. The new norm that we, they they call it now, yeah. Um, we have to uh, nak tak nak kita harus face kita to build. Kalau kita tengok kita menghadapi benda ni baru tahun ni March kan dalam March baru kita stop everything show hmm. tak boleh buat apa March March baru beberapa bulan sampai December baru beberapa bulan maksudnya dia baru macam cam pecahkan kita. So dia baru uh, dia baru injak kita punya otak untuk think what is what to solve and then what to what to have it to another 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 phase of performing arts world especially in malaysia kan macam malaysia katalah sekarang ni i think for me for myself is for me to uh, to do, to analyze to analyze uh, what is happening now and what i can bring further in the future at least at least for next year Kan? Sekarang ni kita tengok, kita boleh tengok performance. Macam semalam pun, I did, uh, that's a good effort from from Pusat Seni to show the production. Okay? Uh, which is at the first place, we are planning to go and see. Kan? To sasaran, to see the performance. But uh, it's happened, then recorded, then we we look now. So, before that, I I, I tengok Nadira uh, yang show dekat Tokyo. You know what I mean? Now, all the performance that I cannot go and see, I can see it now. In terms of analyzing, in terms of education, in terms of, uh, oh, like this, oh, like that, and how we want to do the next one. So this, this, uh, um, bukan kata bahawa bila dah berlaku tu begini, you cannot act anymore. You cannot do Stanislavski anymore. You cannot uh, project your voice anymore. No, no. This is the time to enhance and to build what is how to how to because our instrument is our body our voice our expression and how we gill up our instrument ini untuk untuk the another phase kan another era kan banyak maksudnya semua on screen semua sekarang on screen jadi dalam masa bulan march itu dia 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 apa ni uh, this happen jadi kita analyze dulu kita apa eh apa knowledge yang kita tak ada sekarang yang yeah, ada- we actually at that time we actually adjusting to what to do because we probably shocked with the situation yeah. and then i think i think we yeah. sort of like adjusting on how we can actually capitalize from this how we can actually make use of this scenario because it, these things happens right and yeah. so yeah so we uh, you know whether you like it or not we need to adjust ourselves right yeah. So, uh, and and for instance, like I think be, I think some, somehow because of this COVID nineteen, we can actually watch Sick de Soleil for free. We can watch yeah. other kind of performances for free online. Kita tak pergi London untuk ke National uh-huh. Theatre. 
we just go and like uh, the first place itu, I managed to see a few performance from National Theatre London. So yeah. this opportunity kan uh, untuk kita melihat lagi benda-benda lain uh, macam tu. So memang kita kena kita kena kata orang we have to adjust uh, like what uh, doctor said we have to adjust ourselves uh, to face dan kita as educators, kita as a teachers also, we must know how to adjust a little bit instead of face to face, how to face to the screen, how to imagine that the student is looking at us and of course they are, <laughs> kat rumah kita tak tahu macam mana, tapi yeah. it is how we are changing. We are changing our style, we are changing our method, we are changing our 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 apa ni, elements in teaching, uh, okay. performing yeah. Uh, Hamza, you mentioned about the, this uh, your, your experience, right? Because because we are you know we are academic because we we have this kind of experience for the very first time. Because most of our class, well, most of our classes actually uh, hands on, which you know more practical based, right? And yeah. then uh, maybe you can you can share with us, you know, your experience in first time handling your classes online with your student, you know, your lecture in terms of your assignments, because you know you can't you know because sometimes they probably have. Uh, also uh, difficulties in on how to actually act uh, you know with their with their colleague because their friends probably in Johor or in Sabah they can't go and you know they can't they, they can't do monologue all the time so how do you face this kind of problem how do you give this kind of assignments to them okay okay this is uh, this is uh, the first uh, fasa yang kita kena mengajar di rumah tu dulu because i'm uh, i'm My practical uh, classes is vocal, uh, vocal for theatre. So, I, <laughs> macam, I want to do this. Again, macam, I also adjust scenography, uh, theatre design, theatre design. Yeah. Right? Mm. So, me, ini semua, uh, me as, I as educators, of course, I need uh, another tools. Again, and the tools, kata lah in scenography, design. So, macam mana nak script, kita tak ada script. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. So first of all, uh, kita tukar macam I, I tukar. Ni sebab experience saya belajar dulu juga lah at Helsinki. Dia buat from text to space, kan? Sekarang ni, I kembalikan from space to text. Space maksudnya ruang awak. Apa yang awak ada? Disclaiming you, rumah you. That is your, that is your research material. That is your semiotic material. Apa yang ada dikelirikan? Space itu. Melalui space itu, how you create, how you create your uh, your your script, your cerita, your environment. You know what I mean? Katalah dia mm. pilih ruang tamu. So, dia kata, okay, uh, apa cerita yang you dah dapat from your observation of your space? Dia kata, okay, saya nak buat rumah macam wujudkan uh, dua karakter. Katalah, makcik ni, 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 dia create-create. Okay, use your ruang tamu as your stage. So, you arrange. You arrange your sofa, you rearrange ni, ambil yang perlu, buang yang tak perlu. Maksudnya, you reorganize your house lah, kan? <laughs> <laughs> In terms of that. So, from space, you create. For This is for my um, first year student for visual communication for scenography, paper. So, they are doing that. So, itu yang paling dekat dengan dia. Itu dia tak payah keluar untuk cari, buat research apa uh, ni. So, from space to text, then you create your environment, ya? Yeah? Then you belajar hmm. untuk mengetahui ini. But for... I, I, I believe in UITM, you have your own your own platform. You have a lot. Like, I learn, I think. I learn, right? You have I learn, right? Yeah, you future. Ini pun baru. Okay. Baru meletup dan semua kena belajar you future. <laughs> oh, baru ni. Oh, this is new, right? Ya. Yeah. Dulu kita I learn. Dulu I learn. Oh, okay. kita, kita develop MOOC, M-O-O-C. MOOC. Mm-hmm. And now for this phase, That the you future. Jadi more easier and more understand. This is this is kind of education for us also to use the hmm. tool and to use the platform. Ah, so macam I punya vocal class, I think uh, Dr. Hadi, sebenarnya kita kata okay, uh, kita pergi studio kan, pergi sasaran, pergi pergi uh, space untuk buat warm up, untuk buat whatever it is. I think apa ni mengajar through <laughs> mengajar through <laughs> ni lagi penat sebenarnya <laughs> yeah yes <exactly. laughs> lagi penat so we have to focus and every single second that our student is well watching us you know so or not watching us <laughs> <laughs> or not watching us kan jadi kita tak boleh kita oh amin tak 
ramai yang tak tengok ni no we have to we have to walaupun tak tengok kita we have to perform we have to perform Dr. Hadi and after three hours <laughs> classes after three hours classes you are, you are, oh my goodness the energy that we put is so different masa kita kat dalam studio so this is the this is the changes kan this is the change how to yakinkan budak-budak itu performing arts tu macam mana kan uh, jadi jadi this is the challenge kita punya challenge to do and to create and this is my experience so bila dah second phase ni untuk uh, another another ni kita dah ada dah kita dah ada kita dah terbuka sikit kan uh, lepas tu kita pula ada tools-tools lain uh, YouTube untuk untuk apa untuk dia orang uh, buat reference kan Yeah. Untuk dorang, even for them for them to discuss because they are actually staying uh, you know far from each other right yes 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 and uh, macam you kata tadi uh, macam mana budak-budak nak communicate to each other i think i think sekarang ni kalau um, kalau you tengok i punya uh, ig or facebook <laughs> <laughs> i dah ada buat satu apa ni uh, apa ni Uh, bukan buat satu lah, tapi I record lah macam mana dia orang buat dance movement because I teach also creative movement and we are so so happy to look people like every movement on the screen kan uh, jadi maknanya yang penting tetapi kita pula janganlah terlalu terlalu apa kata orang nakkan sesuatu yang di luar dugaan kita kan kita kena tahu hmm. environment kita kena tahu situasi kena ada sikap-sikap toleransi di situ human itu tolerant hmm. pada budak yang tak dapat kadang-kadang oh macam macam I have to laugh because my line is not good hmm. so we, we have to open up we have to open up sebab tu record kita kata okay you have uh, you look into uh, apa ni uh, kita dah record nanti I send it to your classroom uh, macam tu jadi kita kena ada itulah sekarang itu uh, sekarang ni pun kita kena kita tak boleh too serious uh, untuk be uh, harsh to to um, untuk, kepada student kerana memang susah memang sukar untuk mereka menerima dan uh, sejauh mana mereka menerima apa yang kita ajar jadi kita kena ada sedikit toleransi di situ sebagai pendidik lah kan hmm. ok um, uh, because we are talking about uh, PNP just now right we talking about our teaching and all that uh, what's the different aspects of uh, or, or challenges from your your point of view in terms of your participation in for instance in, in conferences or in research project or other networking such as uh, you know academic discussion you know meetings uh, especially on also production based project uh, you know during this pandemic you know covid-19 ya 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 okey uh, macam conference itu semua uh, memang agak terbuka dan a lot of conference yang going on kita hanya nak tak nak je untuk untuk melibatkan diri kan it, it, kita cuma kita tak, kita tak boleh pergi sanalah tu je yeah. Itu saja Kita tak boleh pergi Kanada, kita tak boleh pergi India, kita tak boleh pergi Nepal, tak boleh pergi, tak boleh. Kita <laughs> ada je. Tapi kat situ sekarang itu yang sekarang kita kena tukar. Sekarang education penting instead of the travel. Dulu travel tu penting instead of the education. Sebab travel tu memberi kita pandangan yang luas kan, yang yang jauh. Tapi sekarang apa inti yang kita nak buat untuk develop ni ni sebab kita baru je ni baru je uh, ni macam last macam last uh, fasa saya manage to uh, join uh, oystart punya uh, dia nak kata festival sebab dia tak jadikan dia selalu buat dekat prague so kita tak boleh tak tak boleh pergi prague so dia buat open conference so every single ya Allah uh, the knowledge yang kita dapat Uh, from every ni walaupun kita kena bangun pukul 4 pagi untuk 8 malam kat sana why not why not kan uh, so in terms of conference is like that in term in terms of uh, uh, research mungkin kita kena kita kena ubah sikit lah what kind of research yang kita yang yang memadai untuk kita berada dan untuk membaca saja ke ataupun once in the while i think we can go kan tapi ada SOP ada caranya untuk katalah kita tak boleh pergi tak boleh pergi ke luar negara kita cari yang lokal-lokal kan doktor ha, doktor kena hmm. cari kita boleh berjalan jauh-jauh kan okey tak apa in terms of production saya juga ada a few production yang terlibat dalam dalam uh, dalam during masa ini iaitu saya pun uh, kita buat recording kita buat recording untuk Mak Yong uh, hari tu kita buat recording uh, under JKKN kita buat recording tak ada audience tapi Uh, saya anggap ini satu documentation yang bagus sebab ada camera work apa-apa semua dengan lighting apa semua is a good 
is a good uh, documentation sebab kita kan kadang kita lupa kita kita tak dan untuk kita tak serius dalam documentation kan produk ha, itu uh, berlaku kemudian uh, ada dua persembahan yang berlangsung secara live iaitu uh, itu Dr Don Sizi ada buat uh, uh, papa uh, yang dia dia bagi bagi talk and uh, Bukan talk, dia, dia acting, dia bercerita uh, Dia mencari, actually dia mencari Kita mencari style, kan kita mencari style Apa kind, what kind of performance Yang akan, yang sesuai Untuk zaman yang sebegini kan So uh, We try to uh, we try to do uh, She try to do Papa, saya terlibat dalam uh, Artistik, uh, buat poster Apa-apa semua um, Now akan datang ada satu lagi Uh, ni biasa sebab dia kata sayang dia tak buat interaction to the audience dia ada buat sikit tapi dia rasa macam eh uh, macam kami pun rasa macam alamak interaction tu sangat menarik kenapa tidak yeah. di uh, kan uh, jadi for the next one she would like to try that macam dance macam dance uh, baru lepas kita buat dengan uh, Fyrol Zahid the choreographer uh, dia buat performance uh, full length performance 45 minutes so people tengok through live um Performance masih lagi berpeluh, kan? Masih lagi berpeluh. Performer masih lagi membuatnya dengan SOP yang 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 di yang dibuat, ya eh, apa? Yang diikuti. Kita hanya melihat. Kita sekarang melihat dan menilai, uh, merasai performance tersebut. Jadi uh, dah dua. Saya rasa, um, yelah. As what I say, kita baru buat March, March, April, May. Berapa bulan je? Tak sampai pun 12 bulan lagi kita menghadapi benda ni. Banyak opportunity, opportunity dan juga solution-solution yang boleh kita buat. Dan jangan frust. Uh, jangan jangan merundun lah sebagai especially the student kan. Alah, saya tak dapat masuk teater. Alah, saya tak dapat masuk panggung. Saya tak bau uh, lighting punya smell. Kita relax, relax. Ini, this is a new fasa. Kita boleh, kita akan... Lama-lama kita akan dapat satu 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 uh, formula macam untuk untuk me, apa ni membuat perkara-perkara ini. Um, saya sangat dan dan pada sisi saya saya uh, join uh, art healing uh, project from pusat sini hmm, uh, yeah. dengan uh, Dr Kamal Sabran yang saya tak pernah jumpa. Saya pernah jumpa masa dia buat show dengan Ada Reza, but I adore dengan projek itu saya join. Then in, ini ini kalau dulu kita malu kita malu kita kita segar lah macam mana nak jumpa kan macam mana nak 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 join kan tapi sekarang dah terbuka it's up to you it's up to you to join or not it's up to you to gain your knowledge and it's up to you to enjoy to the performance and the performing art scene kan ha, jadi dia actually dia buka 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 sebenarnya jangan terlalu jangan terlalu memikirkan yang negatif dan akan menjunamkan kita punya uh, spirit dan mematikan semangat-semangat itu. Yes, kita kena ada beberapa perkara yang kita harus ambil untuk untuk apa ni? Untuk menambah lagi ilmu. Kan kalau katalah for being as is your major. You dah tahu kekuatan you apa kan? Uh, as a student for the student lah. Uh, you dah tahu what is your strength and what is another tak kalah satu buat tahu nak berlakon saja. I don't think so. When you terdedah dengan exposure ni, you mesti ada sesuatu yang lain yang you boleh develop kan yang you boleh uh, menjadikan dia sebagai another part of your uh, life. Betul tak? Dok tadi. Ya, yeah. because we we also uh, uh, also I also involved in this kind of kind of performance whereby uh, somehow we also need uh, uh, some help with the, the other parties from the from the other school like you know in USM in in PPKT uh, school of uh, 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 computer science to help us in terms of the in terms of the technological side because when we actually um, uh, have performance with uh, live uh, you know with India and South Korea at the same time because you know we, we we do a live performance whereby the the musicians actually from India and the, the singers actually from 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 Korea you know you know doing live because we you you really need you need to have actually a smooth line without any lagging and all that so that that's also needs a lot of a uh, 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 cooperation a lots of thing you know behind that so you want if you want to make something live something like that is very interesting and has been actually started uh, with the um, uh, uh collaboration with you stimulate you new simulator you new usm at that time and uh, so it's actually uh, a, a a very a refreshing a very interesting collaboration 
by by <laughs> we, we never thought of that so yeah. this thing actually could happen you know it can it can be a monologue but you know like like for your monologue in uitm and then after that it passed to usm the kind yeah. of thing exactly so exactly. uh we i think like you said we 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 had we, we need to take this uh as a uh, an opportunity yeah, yeah. to venture yeah. to something new and i'm glad that you did mention about the supporting uh, the support element from another school as well they they are expert in uh, that that uh, that uh ruang itu, uh, that what you get that elements can internet lines and whatnot Even nowadays, uh, this is this element is is a core that that the university that the school have to take care of uh, of it for us to invest to invest <laughs> yeah to invest to make it stronger so people can uh, communicate and do this kind of such of things. So even even kat luar pun maksudnya di mana mana lah. Dekat, katalah dekat KL ni, of course kalian tak boleh keluar, tetapi ada pusat-pusat ataupun ada spot-spot yang very strong for, you know, for this kind of uh, communication going on and and how we nak enhancekan kita punya, uh, what you call it, uh, performance, performance level kan, uh, supaya tidak tersangkut-sangkut dan sebagainya. Tapi, tapi sekarang ni jangan marah kalau tersangkut-sangkut sebab kita developing, kita, kita, kita in a progress in a progress kan uh, so kita mesti ada kita mesti uh, bagi ruang lah bagi ruang jangan terlalu nak pump terus dah dapat memang tak boleh lah macam saya tak, networking from 92 ada 2 3 tahun untuk untuk develop untuk um, uh, make sure i'm strong in KL untuk to know each other so i can sell myself bukan masa sebulan dua tapi setahun dua untuk itu jadi kita kena ada ruang itu ruang untuk kita explore, ruang untuk kita uh, perbaiki mana-mana yang mana-mana yang hold kan uh, untuk kita uh, memperkukuhkan ya to enhance kan to make it more stronger. Okay. I, I believe I believe you um maybe you want to share with us uh, some some of your experience or some of your work your production work uh, with our viewers. Ah uh, uh, boleh. Oh, yeah 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 sure. Uh, this work is actually uh, not this digital era lah. This is this is before. Uh, uh, I call it. Uh, we call it Terima Kasih Cinta. Uh, directed by Pat Ibrahim. Uh, artistic director is Raja Mali, and I'm the set designer for this. And at this time, uh, we we did it from uh, we did at Istana Budaya. And at that time, Istana Budaya, uh, the punya facility semua breakdown. Mula breakdown is under maintenance. So the stage leave. Uh, all the apa ni wagon system we cannot use you just imagine so how we may, how we uh, apa ni cari solution lain buat dekat istana budaya tetapi we cannot use all that facilities kan orang tengok all this kekaguman so this is the performance that uh, uh, title nya terima kasih cinta so j- i just like to show uh, kita break sikit kita tengok show ni lah eh Okay. Uh, we can discuss about that if we want to know. Oh, okay. okay. Mr. Hamza is going to share with us with uh, with some some photos. Can tell you? You want to show something? Uh, uh, gambar-gambar dan juga tu the performance lah. Ada, okay. Ada, ada ada video juga. Okay. Okay.
talk about the, uh, the production maybe you can actually Okay, just a little uh, briefing about this production. This is actually, I built this set, I designed this cell. Uh, the Proscenium Arch, the whole Proscenium Arch is full of this uh, block. Uh, why is why? Because we have five stories that we have to tell at the same time. The, the, the changes is very, very fast. That's why you can see the track over here. When this, uh, when this uh, block is uh, go to the front, to the 
uh, apron, uh, another story. Then when we put back, then another block go to front, and that's another story and another family. So uh, this is actually the, the th turning point uh, for my uh, actually research at that time, saying that our theater is actually our box. It's like a box. It's a magic box that we can we can tell a story just like that through the through the images through the through the colors through the iconography that we choose like just now all the set design all the prop is actually multi-purpose you can see uh, after the hospitals uh, i bring it up it's going to be uh almari pula got rumah sewa pula similar here this is all the multi-purpose uh uh props that can use for another 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 and another another scene. Uh, yeah, I think that, that's it. I know, I know. So, we, have, we, have, we have a question from uh, uh, from our from our viewers, Jamza. Uh, 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 okay, okay. Uh, this, this is from uh, Darren Ang. Uh, he actually asked, uh, have this question: uh, How can graduates uh, fit in in the industry with little working experience? Can you explain to him? You you have to uh, get more experience, lah. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I mean is yes, uh, love uh, like this. Uh, like I say just now, you must have uh, you must have a uh, ruang. You must have a period that you gain knowledge and gain experience. Do some work. Let's say you graduated. Uh, you graduated in the performing arts, or uh, where. Then you have to go to the place that uh, the performing arts is like uh, is like uh, boom, right? But for now, for now, I think this is how we can develop our uh, develop our portfolio through the performance that we made. Yes, you don't uh, maybe you don't have any documentation during your uh, school time. You don't have performance, but now you can create the performance. Uh, YouTube monologue. Uh, let's say you're an actor. I, uh, I assume that you are an actor. You do monologue. You do some kind of monologue. You do uh, you do uh, uh, classical. You do realism. You do experimental. You do monologue as your portfolio. You do that so you enhance. Uh, you enhance your portfolio. Then uh, you can uh, that that kind of thing that people we can see. You can see and you go and approach people. You go and send your portfolio to all the companies. Uh, to see your work, to see your work, and you have to. Jangan ingat antar je terus dapat. Eh, you that is the semua kerja pun macam tu. Not only performing arts, yeah. That is how we we build our portfolio now. I think create your Insta, create your Facebook. Uh, uh, but please, uh, to create Insta and Facebook to to see your credibility, not your nonsense thing lah. <laughs> okay, we also have a question for. I think this one from Dr. Handika Aziz. Uh, allow, uh, allow, me, allow me to read. Uh, what is uh, Mr. Hamza's opinion on the digital platform medium that will... Uh, we can read from the box. Uh, what is Mr. Hamza's opinion on the digital platform medium that will replace the medium through the stage? The history of the development of modern world theatre has lasted for thousands of years since Greek times. Various times have passed and the era of theatre development has gone through various obstacles but we have never seen a theatre perform without the presence of an audience. That means the live audience is a necessity. In other words, the concept of face-to-face -face remains unmatched by the digital medium. Replacing uh, this direct form of theatre performance to digital media is something that is only temporary. We will still return to its original form. Only the presence of this digital form opens our eyes to see the world of theatre in a in a broader context. I think so. So we can use this platform as an alternative platform for the educational process, documentation, uh, entrepreneurship, and knowledge sharing more widely. I think that's from his opinion, lah. From his opinion, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Of yeah. course. Of course. If everything is uh, everything is clear, uh, safe. We we of course we go back to the performance and face to face is our like kita punya jis kepada uh, performing arts kan uh, tak apa tapi sekarang itulah kita kata kita how uh, macam mana kita yeah, dah now, now, we, now we enjoy we enjoy yeah. the challenges right yeah yes we enjoy it and we try to find a solution 
And jangan kita patah semangat because kita ramai lagi pengikut kita ataupun pelajar-pelajar kita yang nakkan this kind of knowledge kan. Uh, tapi for uh, yang lain-lain, yeah, for, for the student, basic itu sangat penting. Walaupun you pakai you pakai uh, screen uh, as your studio, the projection, uh, the projection pula, project, uh, projection still there. Wow, still there. <laughs> Yeah, Mama, yeah. Mami, mamu still there, bukan? Mami, 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 mamu. No, <laughs> because yeah. your lecturer know your energy. Lecturer know <laughs> where your voice going. <laughs> We also have a question. This is also this is from my student, um, I think Mon Monica Addy. Uh, okay, her question is: In this digital age era, what are the career opportunities and possibilities for the upcoming batches of Uh, theater students in Malaysia, the industry is quite limited and not as established as other countries. Plus, due to this pandemic, situation has worsened. So, as a theater student, we are quite worried because we seem to be in a very risky state. So, sir, can you share your opinion on this? Okay, okay, it's like this. Nowadays, it's crisscross. It's very important, crisscross because you are. Uh, with other people also, you need also supporting, like what uh, Dr. Hadi said just now, okay? Uh, we can we can give content creatively, but the people who are on the uh, uh, animation from the graphic, from the from the film, from the uh, even from other uh, other school, like like pharmacies, like whatever it is, and you need a creative content. So we are the provider for that. And as I said just now, we cannot just rely on our specialization. Now we have to look into another, another, uh, another tools to enhance our to kukuhkan lagi our 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 credibility. Yeah, katalah macam I uh, teaching. Now I need to do video, so I need to learn how to make video, uh, the angle or whatever it is. I need to draw a digital, not not on the whiteboard, but on the iPad or something like that. That is the new thing for me to learn and how to use another platform. That is how we ni. So, maknanya sekarang, as a student, uh, kita kena develop. Kita kena develop uh, ourselves to make strong, uh, not only at one side, but we have to, we, we, we can put uh, any other angles. But you have to know your strength and your minat. Jangan paksa-paksa. Minat. Katalah, I ni, I suka masak. Tapi, I ni banyak sangat suka. Minat. Aku suka menari, aku suka masak, aku suka buat craft, suka berlakon, suka whatever it is. Jadi, benda-benda ni, <laughs> ni banyak. Tapi sekarang, dah nak pencen. Eh, iya ke? Kena reduce to another another pass. Tapi, you, as a newcomer, there's a lot of opportunity that you can get. Then, banyak peluang, banyak peluang. Okay, now kan, kan sekarang ni business is very like booming kan. People yang my daughter pun start to do my ikat cantik. Dia buat tie and dye je. Kan, so dia sell dekat Insta. Uh, buka uh, pada launching pada 11 hari bulan itu. Uh, no, 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 20, 20 hari bulan. So dah 2, 3, dah laku dah. Dah laku. Kita kena anggap bahawa dalam Malaysia ini Ataupun kita buka lagi besar Asia ni, seorang dua mesti beli barang kita. <laughs> as a start. Kan? Jadi kita cari. Itu itu kita punya ni. Jadi, uh, as a performing arts, kita kena enhance. Banyak lagi, benda-benda lagi yang kita kena develop. Macam multimedia production, multimedia, LED. Kan kita pakai LED, kita pakai multimedia sekarang. So, kita kena menguasai bagian itu juga. Bagian multimedia, bagian animation, bagian videografi. Sebab bentuk-bentuk persembahan dah ke arah yang sebegitu. Kan? Ya. Yeah. Okay, I'm actually um, reading whether there is any education. But uh, for our viewers, especially for our students, don't forget to log in. Uh, there is, uh, actually, there is a link for you to get for your CPD points. Actually, our students, uh, when they actually uh, yes. join for this session, they, they, they got their, their CPD points. Dapat upah lah. Dapat upah. Dapat upah, the kind of thing. I think, I think Dr. Saina has actually uh, the registration link here for your C, uh, CSD and your CB points and please click uh, for your attendance. And uh, I think uh, we we are now at nine, we are 
Well, more than uh, one, one hour, uh, Mr. Hamza. And uh, last last question, uh, 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 Mr. Hamza. Finally, uh, what is your what is your hope for our Malaysian theatre industry in, in in general? And what can you actually envision the future of Malaysian theatre industry? Okay, now now kita nampak um, uh, company ataupun uh, 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 apa ni company-company theater kecil ke besar try to try to try to produce also a performance kan a performance is try to uh, men, uh, apa ni uh, menghidupkan dia tak nak mati kita tak nak matikan performing arts itu jadi small small theater macam revolution stage is uh, masih lagi uh, try to do a performance dan kerana that means ada opportunity masih lagi ada ruang cuma Uh, kita harus akur dengan SOP kita harus akur dengan undang-undang untuk kesihatan kita untuk kesihatan kita untuk keselamatan orang lain jangan kerana arts kita kita hilangkan benda itu jangan kerana arts kita lari daripada uh, menjaga benda itu kerana ini ini ada norms yang kita harus follow kan jadi harapan saya don't give up tak besar tak buat satu jam buat setengah jam tak ada buat setengah jam buat 15 minutes even 5 minutes performance at least you perform then people will see it kan sekarang ni kita kena cari bentuk-bentuk performance yang macam mana untuk untuk audience boleh catch kita punya audience kadang-kadang kita buat show live pun satu hari mungkin ada juga performer yang tak sampai 10 orang datang untuk menonton betul tak tapi sekarang ni through live performance at least 30 40 ada datang untuk menonton dan sekarang people understand to Uh, to develop the community of uh, ni take it dijual dan ada yang beli ada yang beli dan people dah tahu dah this is the norm sekarang yang people nak tengok performance itu so i hope that jangan matikan jangan matikan semangat itu as the performing arts artist performer ke designer ke musician ke whatever yang uh, production team kena kena kuatlah kena kuat uh, kita bukan bagi perang pun kita berperang untuk dunia kita kan so memang kita kena enhance dan kita kena ni um, itu itu yang itu yang harapan saya lah jangan patah semangat dan kita harus harus cari jalan cari jalan cari jalan cari uh, take take uh, thing as the opportunity maybe there is not it next time ini ada another opportunity yang mungkin kita eh ada sesuatu yang di sini uh, itu harapan saya not time. alright okay I think uh... I think I think yang uh, I think uh, masa telah mencemburu kita we are now actually about around around 9 1941 one, one 145 and on behalf of uh, School of the Arts uh, the last I, would like to, you know, I would like to thank you so much uh, Mr Hamza Tahir uh, our uh, you know uh, our our alumni Mr Hamza Tahir uh, to be you know we are actually very grateful to be our ICAP panel and also to share with us uh, your wealth knowledge about uh, Malaysian uh, Malaysian theatre and also theatre in general, your experience and also your your opinion about what is going on now. And I hope that our student and our, and our viewers actually can get something from from the insight of Mr. Hamza Tahir. Uh, thank you again, uh, Mr. Hamza Tahir. Thank you so much. I hope that, that we can actually uh, meet for another session maybe in future or another productions based on online kind of productions Real, yes 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 i'm looking forward into that thank you so much usm thank you so much especially pusat seni uh, membawa saya kembali ke era tu ke, ke pusat seni kembali uh, melihat show semalam sasaran lepas rindu saya i miss sasaran so much and for those uh, masih lagi di situ take that opportunity Uh, learn so much uh, knowledge ni tak tak pernah habis tak pernah tak pernah berhenti kan so thank you so much i'm glad to be here and i'm looking forward to be here again